In 2013, Yamaha introduced a very interesting motorcycle. The XV950 Bolt, also known as Star Bolt in some countries. Sort of a cruiser, with some boba flavor. But it was also, a very customizable platform. In other words, the kind of motorcycle, which is begging to be modified. Some even said, it could be converted into a cafe racer. And up to a certain point, they were right. But like I said, only up to a certain point. And the project you are about to see, is precisely the proof of that. Welcome to Racer TV. Allow me to begin by guessing what you are thinking at the present moment. It will probably be something like It looks good, but nothing special. Or The general stance seems nice, but I've seen better. If this is your kind of thoughts about this Yamaha, then I will have to say, please be patient. Because your opinion is about to change during the next minutes. This is Shun Miyazawa, Yamaha's Sport Heritage Product Manager, which means this project was built under Yamaha's Yard Build Program. And this man, is the author of the project. Marcus Waltz, the founder of Waltz Work Motorcycles, located in Germany. You probably remember him, from this good-looking BMW. Currently, he is probably the world's biggest customizer of BMW motorcycles. Which means this Yamaha, was built a long time ago. At the end of 2014 to be precise. And why didn't I show this project on the channel before? Just like I meant a moment ago. When we look at this cafe racer, everything looks nice. But without being spectacular, or outstanding. But very recently, when I saw it right next to the original version, only then I realized, how great this project really is. I think this is the kind of transformation, that we can only evaluate correctly, after seeing the before, and the after. As you see on this transition, Marcus had to build a completely new rear section of the frame, and this modification, is the key to reach the ideal cafe racer stance. But at the same time, it means the building process, will be much harder, when compared with some of its competitors. As I said earlier, Yamaha created this model, to be a very customizable platform. Almost like a blank sheet, ready to be transformed into any style we want, but using small and simple changes. But this project shows that to get the classic cafe racer style, it will require much more work. Fortunately, there is a solution. And I will get to that in a minute. So, let's talk about the main modifications, of this gorgeous machine. As usual, there are some changes, that we can't see at first sight. And these wheels, are a perfect example of that. They may look like the original ones, 
but impressively. They are made from hand cast magnesium. The front suspension was obviously lowered. But inside, there are now new progressive springs to manage the new weight distribution. The fuel tank may look like something bought in the aftermarket. But just like the tail section, the hand stitched leather seat, the cylinder head plates, the twin air intake tubes, and the exhaust pipes, everything was custom made. And to include some vintage flavor, Marcus dressed it with the Yamaha blue color and the classic Yamaha stripes. But there is one thing which proves that Yamaha really liked this project. Because one year later, they launched the racer version. Yes, I know what you are thinking. It just looks like a cruiser motorcycle, trying to be a cafe racer. But this also means, that to get a proper cafe racer stance, the rear frame structure, must be modified. I know that for most cafe racer fans, this is a very difficult obstacle. Because only a few, have the technical skills to change this rear frame structure. And I think Yamaha, also realized that. Because two years later, they released the SCR model, which is essentially a scrambler version, of the Yamaha Bolt. You probably already figured it out. The big difference, is precisely on this section. This indicates, that the SCR model, uses the standard bolts frame, but with this extra subframe. This, is the solution, I mentioned a moment ago. The Yamaha bolt frame, may need some new holes to receive this subframe, but nothing too complicated. As you see, this SCR subframe, changes everything. But you can also build a similar structure, and hide it with an oval plate, just like on the SCR Scrambler. And to prove how all this would work, I made a test on Photoshop. To be honest, I really liked it. With the typical changes, it ended up even better than I expected. It may not be outstanding, but I think it turned out, having a very convincing cafe racer stance. But getting back to this awesome project, I have to point out, that the initial design, came out from the holographic hammer design studio. On the rendering, the bike doesn't have the same classic stance, like on Marcus Waltz version. But I also loved the more modern flavor. Having said that, I now see the Yamaha Bolt as a great V-twin motorcycle for any customization. And among all the ones I've seen so far, I think this one is the prettiest cafe racer transformation. Thank you for watching Racer TV. And as always, I hope to see you on the next video.